this is LP38 and today we are showing you how to install mods on Into the Flames. This could be a very quick tutorial how to set up your folders so that you can utilize the whole customization for Into the Flames. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your Steam. This is the easiest way to find where your files are at. Go to your game. Uh, I have a testing branch. If you're not in the testing branch, um, where he usually publishes the stuff out first, then you can easily do that from here as well. So you're going to right click on the game, go to properties. And when you open up this, you're going to go, if you want to be in the testing branch, be in that. There's a retro build is also in there, 2020. And you're going to go to your local files. Once you go to local files, you're going to hit browse. Once you're up in this, you'll have a couple folders, possibly you'll have the game in there and other stuff. You're going to go into the flames folder. Let me see if I can do this. Into the flames. From there, if you don't have a mods folder, you're going to right click new folder. I'm just going to name it mods. Okay. Of course, I'm not going to do that because it'll overwrite all my stuff. So once you're in the mods folder, you're going to create another folder called skins. Okay. In here, I also keep all of my other folders. So like if I'm using like an inactive um, skin, but I don't want to use it right now, then I kind of have it buried in a station vehicles. So as you can see, I have other skins. And then they're all labeled as such. So my engine two is in there and I kind of name it for like what it, what it's in there for. So I have other skins, um, the station one vehicles for engine three. And this all kind of aligns with the default vehicles that are in the Canton city, not so much the county, but, um, so like ladder station one has ladder one and engine three. And you're just going to name your folders kind of like such. So in the skins folder, you'll see this is how you have to have the folders lined up. They have to be named engine one, engine two, keep the capitalization. Um, like it has to be Campbell case or like here tower ladder, keep that capital L. If not, it's not going to read it. So next thing you're going to do <clears throat> is for whatever vehicle you're working on, you, if you want the templates, you can get them from his discord. So if you open up discord, I have some on there, but if you go to into the flames, and the official templates, they're all right here. So I'll tell you, this one's for Rescue 3, this one's for here. You have to have some kind of editing software if you want to do the paint. But if you're not if you're not savvy enough to do that or you don't have the tools to do it, you can download them from myself or on here. Um, I believe they have a place where there's mod requests. So people will upload pictures, you can ask for it, and then skins. Will be loaded into here so it'll tell you like this is for command tahoe that's what it looks like here's lexington all kind of different stuff so you would just right click on this save image you go let's see this is for is it for engine two? No, engine one. So you go into engine one, and then you'd rename it engine one skin, just like that. I don't know. I think it has to be capital. Mine's capital, so I'd probably leave it at like that. Um, and then you would override that file, and that would be your new installed um, paint scheme for the engine one. So. As you start to load these in, you have brush engine. Everything has to be like the vehicle again, brush engine underscore skin. 
ladder one, stuff like that. Get the idea? Okay. So all those skins are going to be in there. As you build your folder up, and again, this is mods, skins, and then that's where you're going to have the folders for each end. And I should probably back up. I'm going to do it now, my rescues. So my rescue one, copy that. I'm going to go back to my station vehicles and my, and I'm going to paste it and override the previous one. So I'm going to update these and I just kind of keep the, some of them I kind of keep in folders and then other ones like the rescue ones, I just kind of keep all right here. I'm going to get back to my mods. I'm going to update. I just did a big update for all these rescues. Rescue 2. Uh, override that. And this is pretty much how I either add it to the game or if I want to swap it out with a different skin. I'm, I pretty much do the same thing, but I do it in reverse. And... I'll take them, I do pretty much just a copy paste from this. And you know, if I wanna, if I wanna swap out the rescue three and I wanna incorporate this one, this one hat, like these have to line up with the rescue one, rescue two because of the vehicle style and the model. Um, I don't think, I can't remember if I updated anything else lately. So like right now I have, there's a squad. I know the tower. So tower ladder. Oh, I think I need it. I'll copy that. Station four. Rescue two. It looks updated. Just to be sure. So no, I don't have a secondary for that. Hang on. Tower ladder. So I also keep all the templates and back triangles. These are all available on my website. Link is in the description of this video. Um, I'll just show you how to get those as well. So if you go to my page <clears throat> on the home screen, you'll see down here, these are the news. So anything I update, I post under here and it's just like a kind of rolling. Um, the newest stuff will be posted up top. So like if you wanted these updated rescue five, if you're followers, you had the previous rescue five, well now they added scene lights. And by clicking the mouse on the left button, it actually turns on your scene lights. Um, I guess depending on what you have programmed for your left mouse button. But when you come here, all of these are all ready for you. So this is, these skins are right here. So all you'd have to do is Let's say we want rescue three and you have to see what read this and see what vehicle it's for. So this is for rescue three and right click save image as and that comes up. If you don't have your skins folder pinned, I highly suggest you do that. Go to your skins, right click, pin to quick access. That way it's always quick to get there. Go to rescue three, click that. It's safe and then it downloads or if you don't have it like if you're building your stuff up you would create a new folder new folder now you would name this horse rescue 3 however mine's going to override so I'm just going to make you 3.1 okay you leave it simply like that but for this I have to do this or else it's going to override okay once you come into here Save it. it should already be loaded. Let me double check that. Save image as skins rescue. Yeah, it's already loaded like that with a one, and it's probably I probably have to worry about it. But you just want this to be rescue three skin. Save it now. If we Take a look at our skins folder. One, it's in there just like that. So you're literally just saving the image right off the website, and it's going to be ready for you to go. 
you can go to any of these departments right here right click save image as go to engine three now this is station one i should probably update this but um the rescues are all based off of what model they are these ones are based off of the station so like ladder one it's for engine three so engine three folder boom override it make sure it says that save or create that folder for engine three the instructions are here what folder it needs to go into engine three ladder one when you're doing a ladder when you're doing a ladder or you want anything that has a ladder board in that um vehicle folder so ladder one will have its own boards and the quint will have its own ladder board as well as the tower ladders and you just have to name it <laughs> ladder board underscore skin and then put your tower ladder skin in there as well and as you save these they should already be pre-named okay so if we go to a miscellaneous folder and i want to save these save images ladder board underscore skin tower ladder skin so they're already there for you they already pretty much have the name configuration you just need to put it into those folders um they're the only thing that's not working right now is i think the hazmat vehicle there's no um template for it yet it's not working um the gear you can get these from their discord as well so here's their fire gear skins. Save image as. Let's go gear PNG. Let me see what it says on the folder here. Mine worked. Uh, gear dot PNG. So in a gear folder with capital G, gear dot PNG, then you can grab those. If you can pretty much take these if you have the from the Discord. If you have one of these and you want to add your own text to it, I think that's what I did. Um, this is the Globe Extreme. That's pretty much what I wear in real world, so I decided to get that. But they're all in here if you want those. And that just has to go in a separate gear folder. It's still going in your skins folder with all of the other vehicles, and that'll be there. I don't think there's anything for the shields yet, but I have a feeling that's coming soon. Um, this doesn't need to be. Disregard that. We saw that. Sorry, that confused you. But the tiller, everything has to go in with that vehicle. So each vehicle has its own ladder board. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I hope this helps. Um, it took a while. Now, the other thing you have to do before we go is you have to open up the game. I'm going to have to switch screens here. So. Mind me. All right, so let me turn on the right screen here. Or the left screen, sorry. All right. When you load up into the flames, you'll have to hit mod directory. From there, you will paste in your mod directory and you're gonna oh, that's a joke. back to the right screen what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab here I believe if you just click on that you just want I think it just wants to direct to the mods folder copy that sorry switch screens again back into the game you have to paste your text update directory then 
when you go into the game or ladder. I'm gonna hit I and then load custom skin. So you see it's there. And for mine, you have to some of mine you have to turn the um number color off because I already have it on there. And then any vehicle you load in, so my engine three is probably gonna be the one the other engine. I again load custom skin and for this one i leave the number on so it just depends on what you have on there or you can change the color if you want and that's how you load in custom skins again if you have any questions feel free to comment hope this makes it easier for you um, <clears throat> be sure to check out the website you can get that on link is in the description it is a google site from there, you go up to games and projects. Let me turn, let me flip back to the other screen here. <clears throat> so from the website, if you're on the landing page, you can again, click on either picture or link and I'll take you directly to those companies. So if you wanna go to company four, we'll take you to the latest update. Uh, some of these might have overage. It's just because the way the paint was, um, I really like these ones. I just did these the other day. Save them, figure out what your naming convention is. There's more instructions in their Discord as well. If you need help with um, modding tutorials, open up this document right here. And this tells you like how what has to be the naming convention. It kind of goes into depth. There's also a video here as well. Pretty much the same thing I'm doing, um, but Corey goes, pretty much demonstrates how that works on his end. So, um, but like I said, you can download these from Discord. You're pretty much just saving a PNG file. You can save them from here. Again, right click, feel free to use them if you do like them. Um, I'm gonna charge you a like, maybe a follow or a subscribe if you will. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, hope this helps. That's it for me. This is LP38 signing out. Have a good one.